Okay, we're done with slab. Okay, that one way into a slab. How about intermediate beam? This we also have it here in the spreadsheet. Okay, we call this a stringers. On our plan, a typical intermediate beam is this. Okay, this one. Because it's not supported by the columns. These are the girders. Okay. They span column to column. So this intermediate beam is supported by the girder. And this intermediate beam carries the loads from these two slab panels. Okay. The design of stringers here uses ACI coefficient method. Although for a rough check, you can design this using a WL squared over 8 moment, but Using coefficient method, you can design the stringer with a less rebar area. Okay, again, this dead loads should be updated from what you input from the design criteria. Okay, how about you have a movable partition? Say, let's try to add one kPa. Okay, then live loads. Okay, this is uh, again updated from the design criteria. Okay, and then the typical floor 100. Okay, then the effective depth, and the spreadsheet automatically computed the dead load. Okay, this is a suggested reinforcement ratio. Main bar size is 20. You can also update this. Okay, let's try 16 mm. Concrete cover 50, okay. Assume beam height is roughly 0.3. And then you g are going to input the S1, S2 here. Let's say on this stringer, the S1 is this one and then this one. Right? So this is 3.5, 3.5. Okay, 3.5. I think this is already good, 3.33. Because. Uh, 3.5 although it will not really have a great or a large discrepancy our span length is what 4.5 so 4.5 so that's it the design is done according to the spreadsheet you will need 5 bars on the interior end, four bars, two bars. Okay, that's it. So, right, very quickly, we're done with the gravity members, the slab and the intermediate beam. The stair is here. This one. You just have to input the length here. Okay, we'll do a separate video for that.